Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example about playground sway type. So, let's look at the example first. Playground swing timer. When a child starts swinging, the timer should count down from 30 seconds. An alarm should sound when time is up. A reset button will start countdown again. So for this, we will use normally open contact as well as normally closed contact. I will also be using timer that is TR. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a liner diagram for playground swing time. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basin. I will keep Read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted and downloading an application and modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So we'll click on apply. After that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to configure a device that is we have to select a logic controller so here is a list of different logic controllers i will be using tm221 c24r i will click on it and drag it here if you want to replace you may lose some features and associated configurations i will click on yes so here is a device description that it has 14 digital inputs 10 relay outputs Two analog inputs, one serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. After that, I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then I will click on apply. After that, I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for. Playground swing timer. I will click on this option to set a full screen mode and then I will zoom into it like this. I can also zoom out by pressing this button. So, firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. After that, I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to this uh, coil as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as alarm. Yes. After that, so alarm should turn on after 30 seconds. So for that, I will use a timer here. That will should be T on. I will change time base to one second and preset value as but and then I will click on apply. So when start button is turned on, that is that is when a child starts swinging, then it will count down from 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, alarm should turn on. And then Pressing a reset button will start countdown again. So for this, I will use a normally closed contact here. 
and I will assign address to it as I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as reset button. Yes. So when start button is turned on, alarm will turn on after 30 seconds. And when reset button is turned on and then turned off, then again alarm will turn on after 30 seconds so i will exit full screen mode and then i will compile the program then i will go to commissioning and launch simulator And then I will start controller to do so click OK. Then I will go to programming tab and click on full screen mode. So when start button is pressed, then the countdown will start. That is after 30 seconds, alarm will turn on. After 30 seconds, alarm will turn on. Pressing and releasing the start button. Will again start the countdown. That is, the alarm will again turn on after 30 seconds. Six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Alarm will again turn on. That is, pressing and releasing the set reset button will start the countdown again. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.